This could be worth checking out. Someone will be held accountable for this. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Perhaps we should search about a bit. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. Is that the Chalon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs>
watching this approach. They're organized.
Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Kadash. What an historic moment. The first Carter thug in all Thedas invited to court. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. I'm glad to meet you finally, Ambassador. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. Will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? If I did kill him, what would you do? <laughs> well, I wouldn't believe you for one. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? There's so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick. Did you see 
That knife aired servant girl in the kitchen. The ginger. Keep talking. I am starting to believe I was there. I need to get one of those. Don't we all? Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager. I told you. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you like, Commander Con Ready? But I shouldn't leave my post. You don't leave. Believe me. You're right. I should look around. Inquisitor Kadash, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlé, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. I've never thought the Carter could tell one human from another. Just how much do you know about our civil war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? If I've learned anything, Your Grace, it is to put my trust in no one. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlé. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess told me there's proof Gaspard is in league with Tevinter. 
She offered up her own brother? She's more cutthroat than I realized. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. You are an interesting one. A dwarf from the Carta, of all places, with the manners of a noble. The Merchant Guild will be outraged. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening. Mistress Nightingale. In Look at Lady Candian's slippers. Trimmed with pearl. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. I found this out. Very interesting. It a little more dirt like this. If you find more, let me know. I should go. I always... I had hoped to tour the royal wing. We can only hope Celine prevails tonight. Gaspar will ruin us all. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. My investigations turned up something interesting. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade! You must be Inquisitor Kadash. I've heard stories. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. It's been too long since I've had any... I'd love to hear that. Just gossip.
Thank you. I hope you're not disappointed I stole your dance partner. <laughs> no, not at all. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. It takes great courage to come to the Royal Wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her, before, when she was Céline's pet. Now she wants to play Revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that Céline scandal. Not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. I can imagine what you thought your reward would be. Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. Clever Celine. Even I'm impressed. I don't know which is worse. Celine for using such a tactic or him for falling for it. <laughs> oh, Orlesians. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything. Anything. Everyone in the Empire has gone completely mad. Trap. Yes, definitely. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. At this point, I'd think disappointment was an old friend. Poor dear. You can't begin to imagine what Calpurnia and I have in store. 
And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Stinking, fancy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it.
Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It wasn't an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspar? You cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspar? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinta plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous, even for you, Celine. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briala was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Celine were lovers when she burned Halam Shiral's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orle and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably... optimistic. ...to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. <laughs> Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Mm. 
Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united or surely we will fall alone. There will be no second chance for us. We cannot afford to be divided. We will bury our dead, tend our wounded, and ready ourselves for the next charge, as all true Orlesians must. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? Tis most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you. At Skyhold. I can't believe you escaped before me. A fat count insisted on talking about soup for 15 minutes. We can return to Skyhold whenever you like. The sooner the better. Is something wrong? This isn't over. Corypheus will strike back at us for this. Of course he will. Then we will destroy him, as he deserves. We will need to put the soldiers at Skyhold on alert. Better to be safe. Wait. There is one thing we must do before we go. May I have this dance, Lady Cassandra? A dance? After all we've been through tonight? Can you think of a better way to celebrate? I suppose this isn't terrible. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely, with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. These aren't just any two people. They are key members of the Inquisition. For the sake of Thedas, we must ask you to make this sacrifice. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother.
Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. 